What you say? Uh, welcome back, sugar. You are scared. Ephesians 6 and 4 says, Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, That's right. but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Fathers are wonderful people by Helen Steiner Rice. All right. Fathers are wonderful people, too little understood, and we do not sing their praises as often as we should. All right. For somehow fathers seem to be the man who pays all the bills, <laughs> while mother binds up the little hurts and nurses our little ills. Mm -hmm. And father struggles daily to live up to his image as provider, protector, our hero, uh -huh. all in the scrimmage. Mm -hmm. And perhaps that is the reason we sometimes get the notion that fathers are not subject to the things that we call emotion. Mm -hmm. But if you like, if you look inside dad's heart where no one can see, you'll find he's sentimental and soft as can be except for Elder Carson. <laughs> but, he, but he's so busy every day in the grueling race of life, he leaves the sentimental stuff to his partner, his wife. Mm -hmm. But fathers are just wonderful in a million different ways. And they merit loving compliments and accolades and yes, a lot of praise. For the only reason dad <laughs> aspires to fortune and success mm -hmm. is to make the family proud of him and bring them happiness. Mm -hmm. And like our Heavenly Father, he's a guardian and a guide, someone that we can always count on to be on our side. Mm -hmm. Happy Father's Day, fathers. <laughs>